Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quasi here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a color correction, and this is going to be the first tutorial in a series of four tutorials that I'm planning on doing. But we're going to be creating this color correction, and this is what it looks like. Uh, you can see it's dark, but the color really stands out, it looks really nice with the lighting. Um, which the lighting is going to be the second tutorial um, and yeah guys so let's get right into this tutorial so first thing you want to do is obviously you want to have a product or something to look at as a reference point uh, maybe you're doing a design you're like halfway through or something or maybe you just want to start it off the bat and just copy these settings uh, down exactly it's up to you but the first thing we want to do is go get a gradient map and we're gonna go ahead and I already have it selected you guys obviously won't have this, but this is a pink to a tan, and the pink is AA3169, that's the code. And then the tannish color is ECB597, and you want to copy this code because we're going to use it in the second gradient too. Um, or you could just save this gradient and then pull it up when we do the second gradient. But that is the first gradient, and then we want to set that to soft light. And we want to put that at like 30% opacity between like anywhere between like five away. So like 20 to uh, 35 would work. Then the next thing we want to do is grab uh, levels and darken this up a bit. And you could do a lot with levels, but uh, I'm just going to stay standard and just do 0.8 here in the middle section. And obviously you could do more and play around and get darker effects, but this is what uh, I like for levels. I know people usually like use a lot of levels sometimes. I, I keep it pretty minimum. All right, the next thing, grab a photo fil photo filter and select a color. And we're just gonna get a darker orange. So bring that orange down a little bit and then bring it a little more to the gray side so it's not pure saturated. And click OK. And we wanna set that to about 60% opacity. Of course, you can go within five, uh, like 65 or 55. And now we want to do that second gradient map. So I already have it saved, obviously, but you can see we already we use that tan I told you to copy earlier. So you can copy that in there. Um, and then the brownish gold we're going to be using, or I guess it's really an orange. Um, the code is C97F3D. So it's I guess it's more of a brown. And we want to set that to soft light, and we want to put that at like 50% opacity. Again, you can go somewhere close. And then let's go ahead and grab curves. Now this is what I like to use more so than levels. So we're going to just select the bottom part of it and bring it down a pretty good space. And then go to the top and bring it up just above the XY line, which is the dark straight line that goes corner to corner. And you get something like that, and that'll darken it up, make it look real good. And we want to get another photo filter. And this time we're not even going to change anything. It's just a plain warming filter um, and density 25%. And then the final bit, which really pulls it together, uh, you want to go ahead and get a black and white. And we're going to set these first three to zero. And then bump up the blues, so somewhere in the hundreds. Just a little above the hundreds, and then set that to hard light. And, and bring down that opacity. And this is where you really get to play with darkness. So you can see if I go a little further, it's really dark. You get a real spooky look, but the color's obviously not as vibrant. And then the more you go down, it's still pretty dark, but you get a little more vibrant colors. So we're going to go to like the 30s, maybe 35. And that is the color correction. That's basically it. And this will give you a good color correction all the time. You might have to change gradients and things depending on the colors you're using. So red obviously works with oranges really well. Um, and again, you could probably change up different things for different colors. Uh, it's a lot of experimentation, but this is the basic stuff I use. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Peace.